Today, I want to share you a practical example on how powerful vibe coding can be. And I want to show this because I know that many of us, we didn't have the chance to touch and feel what vibe coding is about. So on this platform, it's, it's called Lovable. And my first disclaimer, I'm not an investor of Lovable. I'm just in love with this app because it's a very intuitive, very easy to use and very practical. And I want also to disclose with you that I have zero knowledge of coding, but I have a problem. I lead a PMO and I need to show to my supervisors an idea, a strong and robust idea of a PMO dashboard that, I, that shows how the performance of my projects are and this type of stuff. So what I will do now, I will just paste here a prompt here. And the prompt is exactly telling uh, Lovable to do that. I need to create a PMO dashboard that shows the status of the portfolios of my Acme uh, Corporation. I need a dashboard that shows the most relevant performance information of each project, make it modern and colorful and build an admin area. So I'm giving the instructions and I'm doing this really, really in a very basic way. Of course, I could be much more elaborate on that. And then I will press this to send this to, to Lovable. So Lovable took my request and Lovable is trying to analyze. So speeding up preview, it's trying to analyze for me what it may do. So I love the idea of creating a modern colorful PMO dashboard for your Acme, this type of dashboard. So it's explaining to me for the first version, the first version, because I can interact. The main dashboard, the project details, strategic alignment and admin area. So design elements, it's shown here. And look, it's writing the code for me. And I will click here just for you to know. Look, it's coding for me. Look, my hands are here. I'm not developing anything. I pretty much have no idea of what is, is happening. Uh, here. So now let's see how the magic happens. Of course, it's not five seconds, but it's quite fast. Let's see it. What you can see here is that I have all the information of my project, dashboard, the projects, the strategic goals, and how they are met. Everything was created. And even the admin part, remember the upload of the Excel file? It's already here. And I can just say publish. And I will say, okay, I want to publish it. And it will create for me a website that I will share with you now. Okay, so now it's ready here. So what I will do, I will click here to open my portfolio. And this I will share with you, with you. And you now will click on this and you will be able to see this application that took me a few minutes. And this is why it's changing completely because why I would do a WBS, why I would do, you know, a detail requirement if I can just play with that. If it's not working, if I don't like PMO dashboard, I can ask it to change. I can just come here and on this area, I can ask new questions, change this, change that. This is not working, fix the problem of this. So you can do that. You can do that in such an easy way. For example, let me, let me try to find a, a, a mistake here. So I click, okay, this project view, ops, okay. So look, so in the dashboard, when I click to view a project, I found a 404 error. Please fix it to me. Done. Let's see what happens. Now, let's see. It's telling me that it fixed it. 
let's see what will happen now. Oh, well, it fixed the problem. So this is what we should expect from Vibe Coding, and I'm doing it right now for you. Now, I know it's hard to sleep after seeing uh, something that I would say in normal conditions would take probably weeks uh, to produce, taking a few minutes, but it's something for us to understand and envision how AI is moving fast and how this is impacting our work and our project. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.